Hey, how you doing? Uh, most of you will probably stumble on this video um, because you might have been following me on Instagram or know me in my personal life. Uh, some of you might, <clears throat> excuse me, follow on to this video just randomly. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Chris, and the point of this video is just to try to give some context for what I've been up to and what I plan on doing over the next several months. And um, for my friends and family watching this, you kind of know, most of you kind of know, some of you kind of know the background, but just if you weren't uh, familiar with it 100%, I just wanted to make a, a video and just kind of go into a little bit further detail uh, as to what in the world I'm doing right now. So uh, basically what I'm, what I'm planning on doing, what I intend to do is take uh, a year off of work, maybe even more, and travel around the country. And I'll kind of come back to that in a little bit about what that's going to, what I hope that looks like. Uh, but um, for a little bit of background, um, I kind of got interested over the last couple years uh, watching YouTube videos of people what, doing what they call overlanding uh, or boondocking, people that were finding interesting ways to live out of their car or to live free uh, across the United States. And uh, that idea really spoke to me. And so as my girlfriend will tell you if you ask her, uh, I watched those videos incessantly and uh, she was a good enough sport to watch a lot of them with me. Um, and that interest didn't wane at all over the last couple of years. And so uh, it just kind of stayed in my head and I really wanted to try to figure out a way that I might be able to do something like that and I knew it wasn't going to be instantaneous I knew it was going to take a little bit of planning uh, and so um, what I basically did was work my tail end off and try to save up as much money as I possibly could those of you who know me know that I've kind of my interests um, have changed over the years they tend to change a lot in fact and uh, I became really interested in personal finance over the last several years and I've really tried to get myself in a much better position than I was 10 years ago and I feel like I have done that and for this trip I was able to set aside what I considered to be plenty of money to make this whole thing come off and so far so good it's been a little bit over budget for the most part but not too far uh, not too bad I should say so um, I had planned on leaving my job in retail um, after this calendar year. Uh, I have kind of evolved out of being in love with what I um, got into retail for. Uh, not that I don't appreciate health and wellness and uh, the food production systems in this country and where food comes from, but it's just not what I read about. It's not what I talk about anymore. It's not what I'm really super passionate about. So. Um, I felt like it was time after nearly 10 years to change direction. And before I did that, it felt like the perfect time. Uh, well, I'm still hopefully relatively young. Uh, <laughs> I'm 40, full disclosure. Um, so I felt like now would be the perfect time. It's not a midlife crisis or anything. It's just it's something that I've plotted out and I really wanted to do. And so uh, but we did have some um, issues in our uh, family uh, and some, some personal stuff going on um, that really shook me and uh, kind of made me reassess uh, what I should be doing with every single day. And so once uh, those things came to pass in May or June, uh, it felt unsustainable to continue on with my career in retail. And so... Uh, I worked all the way up until the end of July and then um, made the leap and left my job. Spent 10 days uh, more with my beautiful girlfriend in Hawaii and then um, traveled back to the Midwest and I bought the car that you can kind of see in the background that you've probably seen uh, on the Instagram photos and stuff um, and spent about a month in Indiana, uh, ripped out the back seat and made a lot of shelves and all kinds of fun stuff in the back of the truck and then um, bought the rooftop tent um, which has been awesome and I'll make separate videos about both of those as well just to kind of know a lot of people that know me have asked for more a little bit more about 
about those two things. So that will come for sure. Not too, not too long from now. Uh, yeah. And then finally, um, was able to head out, um, I think it was September 10th. Um, and it's been over just over a couple of months now that I've been out on the road. Um, and it's gone great. I mean, it's been really everything that I wanted it to be, um, so far. And the person who is filming this is my girlfriend and, uh, she's able to come out here for a couple of weeks and she's been a good sport because it's pretty cold right now. We're in Vermont, by the way. Yeah, this is my first day ever being in Vermont. Uh, lovely. Uh, we got really uh, lucky and got a really nice uh, campground, but it is pretty cold. So we're bundled up and I feel like we're going to make it through the night with no problems. Um, but yeah, I've been through Ohio, Pennsylvania, and now this is kind of a chance to tour around New England. And then I'm going to fly back with her to Hawaii to spend the month of November with her. And then I'm going to come back to the contiguous 48 and resume my travels. The, the plan, such as it is, is to, once I get back to the truck uh, in December, head for the Carolinas and the southern states and kind of work my way across, going from east to west across the south. And then during the spring, kind of head up along the west coast. Uh, and then during the summer months and fall, kind of zigzag my way back towards Indiana. Um, the channel is called Overland Project 365. It probably won't be much more than just a few videos, but I just wanted to create something that would allow me to um, kind of provide some context as to what's going on with this whole thing. So uh, anyway, uh, the goal is to try to be um, exploring and doing these kinds of things for at least 365 days. We'll see how it goes, basically until the money runs out, most likely, and then I'm gonna have to go be an adult again and uh, get a job and get back to quote unquote real life. But I feel like uh, everybody just kind of waits, or not everybody, but a lot of people just kind of wait to do these kinds of things and say, oh, I just, someday I wanna do that and someday I wanna do this. And I read a quote a few weeks back that I really liked, it said the traffic lights of life rarely ever turn green all at the same time and so that really hit me and I just want to you know try to be responsible as I can about it but really try to take advantage of the every single day and do these kinds of things while we can because we just never know when our number is going to get called and when we're going to run out of time so anyway that's hopefully that provides some context uh if you want you can leave me a comment or shoot me a text or whatever to get in touch with me if you want to know anything else but like i said i'll be dropping dropping listen to me i'll be putting up some uh some videos about the tent and about the truck uh soon uh hopefully in the next couple of weeks at the latest when i get back to hawaii and then yeah hopefully that'll uh you guys will get a little bit more look into what's going on here so uh, anyway, I hope everyone is well who's watching this and take care. Thanks.